Jones. I was on the cover of Many Issues, Inside Many Issues, and I became a feature performer. Now at that point I thought, okay, this modeling, like this nude modeling or half nude modeling was not what I wanted meeting. to do. I wanted to do fashion modeling. I'm five foot nine. I had every criteria to, you know, to be a decided to introduce me to this fashion <laughs> telling me about how he was going to get me in a catalog, how I was going to model, and so a meeting was set up between Peter Nygaard and myself. My first impression of Peter Nygaard was that he was very arrogant, he was very staunch, he was very serious, he was very... Um, matter of fact like he knew what he was looking for he told me you know what you're good i like you he said so i'm going to make arrangements then we're going to i'll get in touch with you and what i'd like to do is i want you to come to my warehouse and i want you to pick out a few outfits and uh i'll be taking you to the bahamas you're going to do photo shoots there you're going to be in the catalog and so i was like on top of the world i thought you have to be kidding this is it this is my break about two weeks after I went to the warehouse and picked out my outfits, we flew to the Bahamas together. While we were at the airport, he had asked to hold on to my ID. He does that with everybody. I didn't even think Not at all, and it didn't even phase me. When I pulled in uh, and saw the size of this place and just the whole aura of what it was, I was taken back. I thought this place is absolutely crazy. I just thought it was overwhelming. After I arrive at his property, there's a woman there. He basically told her to take me, show me around, and give me a tour, talk to me, whatever he had things to do, and then he disappeared. See that she's a makeup artist and that she comes there often and that they're good friends and uh, then she starts telling me about what happened. She says that basically I will have to have sex with him and everyone who comes in does. It's, it's what Peter uh, requests, what he requires and I said hell no that's not happening that's not why I'm here. She says no that's what you're going to have to do so don't get freaked out. I'll take it for the first night, she said. So later that night, I'm on the sofa. The two of them are upstairs, engaged in intercourse. And I heard him scream bloody murder when he had an orgasm. And I thought, oh, God. I just felt sick. I was breathed. And then the next day, she said, look, I told you I'm taking it for you. Do it again the second night. You didn't have to. I said, I, I don't have to. I need to get out of here. <laughs> there was a trip to the casino that I causing trouble at that point. I'm in the limo and I'm making for him. I'm in the casino for him because he didn't want to have And then that night happened where I had I had to <sighs> have sex with someone I didn't want to have sex with. Clear that I was to be up in the